All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 30. And in this lesson, we are going to be dividing decimal dividends by non-unit decimal dividers and divisors. And what does that mean? Basically means we're going to be dividing things like 2.4 divided by 0 0.6, that kind of a thing. So there's our, right here is our decimal dividend, and here's our non-unit decimal divisor. Uh, this lesson, we are going to be moving closer to that standard algorithm uh, because in the previous lesson, lesson 29, it was a little tricky to understand how many of these go into this and uh, approaching it from a purely number sense point of view. Now we're going to be moving towards that standard algorithm. So let's get going. So it says rewrite the division expression as a fraction and then divide. Okay, so there's the directions. And what they mean is this division symbol can be rewritten as a fraction. So we could rewrite this problem as 4.8 divided by 0 0.6. All right. Now we want to divide. So essentially this means divide. But if we multiply by 1, it makes our life a little bit easier. So I'm going to multiply by 1. And that's a big old fat 1 right there. There's my 1. And if I multiply by 1, that doesn't change the value of this fraction. It just multiplies by 1, because 1 times anything is itself. But I'm going to be a little sneaky here. I'm going to make my 1... Let's make it 10 over 10. See, that's still a 1. But now, it's going to make my fraction look different. It's not going to be an equal... It's not going to equal something different. It's just going to look different. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 4.8 times 10. That gives me 48. And then I'm going to multiply 6 tenths, or 0.6 times 10. And that gives me 6. So teachers and parents, you're going to have to do some front-loading work on helping students understand and remembering all the way back to Module 1, where we learned about taking this number, multiplying by 10. And you, there's two ways to think of it. You can think of your place value chart, and this 6 moves over a column. Or you could think of this decimal moving to the right. Uh, so either the number moves to the left or the decimal moves to the right, depending on how you think about it. And it, the net result is you're going to get 48 over 6, or 48 divided by 6. And that's just a multiplication or a division fact. 48 divided by 6 is 8. That means this answer is 8. So 4.8 divided by 0 0.6 is 8. And this is all the work that says so. Let's do this next one. So we have 0 0.84 divided by 0 0.07. And once again, I'm going to multiply by 1, which means we're not going to change the value. We're just going to change the way it looks. But this time, I'm going to multiply by 100 over 100. There's my one whole. And when I multiply by a hundred over a hundred, I end up with 84 over 7. And again, parents, teachers, you may have to pause this video and walk through this step right there. We don't want it to be just memorized. We really want students to understand how we can move from 0 0.7 times a hundred and get 7. But now that I've got this fraction, 84 divided by 7, I can divide, and you know, you may need to have your students divide longhand like this. And 7 goes into 8 one time with 1 left over. You bring down the 7, and 7 goes into 14 two times, and we're done. So our answer is 12. So that means 0 0.84 divided by 0 0.7 is equal to 12, because if 84 divided by 7 is 12, that means this is 12 because they're the same value, they just look different. And the last slide for this video, we have 
Denise is making bean bags, and she has 6.4 pounds of beans, so 6 and 4 tenths pounds of beans. If she makes each bean bag 0 0.8 pounds, so 8 tenths of a pound, how many bean bags will she be able to make? So that means we're going to do 6.4 divided by... 0 0.8, because we want to know how many of these 0 0.8s can fit into 6.4. And this, we're going to rewrite it as a fraction. So we've got 6.4 over 0 0.8. And I'm going to multiply by 1. But my 1 is going to be 10 over 10. So we're not changing the value, we're just changing the way it looks. So that means we get 64 over 8, and 64 divided by 8, that's what this means, 64 divided by 8, well, that's a third grade multiplication fact, or division fact, 64 divided by 8 is 8. So there's our answer. How many bean bags will she be able to make? 8 bean bags. Now she says, if she decides to make many bean bags that are half as heavy, how many could she make? Well, if the bean bags are half as heavy, that means she's going to make twice as many bags. So that's going to be 2 times 8 is 16. Mini bean bags. Now that's using logic. Let's just do it uh, mathematically. So our problem would be 6.4 divided by 0 0.4. It's 0 0.4 because the bean bags are half as heavy. Half of 8 tenths is 4 tenths. So now we can write this as a fraction, 6.4 over 0 0.4. We're going to multiply by 1. In this case, it's going to be 10 over 10. So we end up with 64 over 4. And then we might have to go over here and do, on scratch work, 64 divided by 4. By the way, teachers, this is 64 divided by 4. Don't let your kids call this 4 divided by 64. Ugh. You could say 4 divided into 64. Or you could say 64 divided by 4. Anyway, so we might need to do it on scratch paper. But I'm going to skip that, and I'm just going to do it because I could do it in my head. And our answer is 16. And so the answer is 16 mini bean bags. And that's kind of what we knew all along. And that wraps up 5th grade module 4, lesson 30, where we're starting to move towards that standard algorithm for dividing decimals.